PassPack is an online password manager and security suite. We allow one-click access to your favorite sites as well as secure messaging and password sharing. To log in, there are two steps. The first one is to enter in a username and password to download your encrypted data off of the server. Once you've successfully entered your username and password, the next step is to enter in your packing key. Your packing key is the password that's used to encrypt the data and decrypt the data that's stored on PassPack servers. Once you've entered the right packing key, you're presented with your home page. Your home page tells you how many secure entries you have as well as how many secure messages are in your account. From here, you're presented with either two or four tabs. If you haven't set up sharing yet in your account, you won't see people or messages. We'll go into the password list. In your password list, you can store all of the information about your accounts. You're presented with both a user ID, an email, a password, the website where you log in, as well as you can tag your entries. In addition to all of this, there's a notes section so that you can save things like bank account numbers, social security numbers, or passphrases that may not fall into one of these categories. There are two ways that you can use PassPack to log into your sites. Number one is use PassPack as a launch pad. Come into the website and click on one of these little go buttons on the left hand side to get directly to the site. The other option is to simply log into your account, leave it in the background, and go to any of the sites that exist in your list. We'll try and log into Gmail. Once you've made it to your Gmail page, you'll have a bookmarklet that you've saved from PassPack.com that says PassPack it. All you need to do is click it. From here, it will either automatically log you in, or in this case, we have two Gmail accounts saved. All you need to do is select the one that you'd like to log into, and PassPack will automatically log you in. As I mentioned before, PassPack allows both password sharing as well as secure messaging. In order to do this, you have to have set up your ring of trust. Your ring of trust is a group of people who you trust to share very secure information with. In the back end, this is using public and private keys, which allow for data to be encrypted from start to finish, and only the intended recipient can read that information. If we go ahead and look at my ring of trust on this test account, I have both a user called Artichoke as well as a user called Sarcasm. That's actually my real account. If I go into the messaging tab, I see that I have a message. It only shows it in X's. In order to view any of your messages, you have to click show your secure messages. From here, you can view the secure message that you received as well as you could reply to the message from here. The little star is used to save messages for later. With PassPack, all messages are deleted within one week unless they're starred. To reply to this message that I sent to the test account, it's as easy as clicking on this little envelope. The page will update with who to send the message to, as well as give you a text box to enter in your message. We'll send a test message back. Click Send Now. Make sure you're sending to the proper recipient. And you're set. Your message has been sent. When you send a message to someone in your ring of trust, your recipient receives an email letting them know. This is the email that I received from that test message. As you can see, in addition to an email that lets you know where to get your message from, it doesn't show the full username. This is on purpose as a security feature to help protect people's identities. In fact, PassPack has a lot of these features to help protect your account. In addition to simply having a login, password, and packing key, PassPack also has anti-phishing measures in place, such as a welcome message and the ability to automatically lock your packing account as soon as you leave your computer. This is enabled by default, but you can disable these features. These can all be done from the settings screen in your PassPack account. That's PassPack in a nutshell. There are many other features both implemented already as well as on the way. Obviously, mobile will be in the future so that you can check these accounts from your iPhone, your BlackBerry, or even your G1. Check out PassPack.com to get some more info about how to use PassPack to secure your life.